Alright, well, this thing eats up fuel like you would not believe. Hello everyone, Commander Kyle Donovan here on the flight deck with a quick tutorial. So, you want to be able to scoop protons off a star's atmosphere. I can help. We've just dropped out of hyperspace around the uh, star Zebel. It's a class G star, which is perfect for what we need. First thing you're going to want to do... There's a basic approach, there's an advanced approach. First thing you want to do though is go to your functions and turn on your orbit lines. That way when you're in motion you can see that that line around the star. That's the gravity step. You don't want to get down into that. You want to stay above that. Consider it kind of the um, the virtual deck. So, approach one, the easy approach for scooping off a star. You just throttle up until you get a fuel scoop rate that you're comfortable with. Throttle back to zero. Fuel scooping complete. Wait for your scoop to complete. Plot route. Selecting destination. Throttle up away from the star. And if you start running into heat issues, go into your modules and deactivate fuel your fuel scoop. scoop. Disengaged. That will save you a little bit of heat. But since we didn't run into any heat issues, let's continue on. Punch it. Powering drive. A more advanced approach, if you're in a hurry, if you're an explorer, whatever, you don't like sitting at stars and scooping, I get that. If this cooperates, what we're going to do is do a fast orbit of the star, scooping on our way to the jump point if it's on the other side. Survey says... Other side. Well, actually, no, it's not, but we can pretend. Fuel scooping. So, here's that artificial horizon again. It's orbit line. Keep above it. Or keep outside of it, I should say. Complete. Then you can just throttle up and do a fast orbit. Warning. Temperature critical. Temperature starts getting a little ugly. Warning. Goes away from the star. Critical. Fuel scoop Open disengaged. up the distance. This one's a bit further jump. You can eat up about, oh, a little under, between a third and a quarter of my tank. Also, throttle back to zero when you enter countdown. It's important for new players. That way, if you are jumping into the you don't immediately fall into the star, or I should say, drive yourself into the star. Throttle is zeroed. You're at 30 kilometers per second. Standard supercruise speed for zero throttle. There's the artificial orbital, or the gravity Fuel step. Scooping. Throttle up. Throttling up. Not you, I'm talking to the viewers. Fuel scooping complete. Fuel scoop disengaged. Scoop. Nose sure. away. Away we go. Well, now that we've covered how to scoop, maybe we should cover what to scoop. There's a whole lot of stars out there. All stages of life. Move over here to the galaxy map, the map tab, and let us... Filter by star class. The only stars you can scoop off of are O, B, A, F, G, K, and M type stars. That goes from the really hot blue stars to the red dwarfs of the M class. Everything else here, you can't scoop off of. L type brown dwarfs, T type, Y type, protostar, well, the LT and Y types are all brown dwarfs. The protostars, they aren't... They're barely, um, they're still forming. 
Carbon stars are nearing the end of their life, as are uh, wolf red stars, I believe. White dwarfs are basically stellar remnants, and anything on the non-sequence, like um, Etoris and uh, black holes and neutron stars, are definitely not scoopable. A brown dwarf? That's just a pile of hydrogen, waiting for a little bit more hydrogen. That's a gas giant with delusions of grandeur. A T-Tori star? That's a star that is on its way towards igniting into fusion, but it's not quite there yet. Unfortunately, T-Tories come in two varieties. One looks like a hot, white, glowing, fuzzy snowball, other than the fact that it's very warm instead of snow. I drift. And the other one, I think, is much further along on the hydrogen ignition sequence, and it looks, for all intents and purposes, like a K or M-class star. Unfortunately, it's not. So, if you're planning a long trip, plan accordingly. Look for anything on this sequence of OBAFGKM. And filter your star map, your galaxy map, if you have to, in order to plot out those routes. And if you're running low on fuel, you may have to divert to a nearby star so you can scoop up enough to continue your trip. Running out of gas out there is a lousy way to go. Even if you do have the fuel rats on call, best to try to be able to extricate yourself from any situation. Fly safe, commanders. See you out there in the dark.